Hi, I'm Kate Gleason, and I am originally from Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, I moved here about 18 months ago. And what what brought you out here originally? Um, actually, more like who than who? what. I had this um, Connecticut cowboy come and kidnap me from New York City and um, drive me across the country, and then I woke up one morning and I was um, mucking stalls. So it was very weird. That's funny, because... Yeah. I was interviewing another member of the cast who uh -huh. mentioned that he was from Connecticut. Interesting. Um, I'm John Hutton, and um, I'm from back east. Back east. You can't be more specific than that? Is there some reason we can't know? Uh, there's some people. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Connecticut. Connecticut. Connecticut boy. No, I mean, it's probably just a, co a coincidence. It's a total actually. coincidence. Yeah, I was really lucky. My parents really loved the theater, so we actually grew up listening to a lot of musicals um, on albums, and then we went to New York a couple times a year, about two times a year, and we went to see, I think it was a chorus line, and I think I was all of 10 years old, and I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. I would love to do a scene with Bill Nye, the British actor. I think he is genius, hilarious, sly, sexy, and he underplays everything, and I just think he is genius. And he's the science guy, right? No, that's Bill Nye, <laughs> the science guy. I have the unique pleasure of being a, um, a caregiver for four amazing gelding horses, and I spend um, quite a bit of time every day, uh, morning, afternoon, sometimes in the evening, uh, hanging out with them, and there's something about being with those guys that I love. They're, I love them, and they tolerate me. So I would like to see this country's obsession or discussion about things like working and change it to a discussion about things that are actually more important about maybe we should have a discussion about what's really happening in Syria and why or why not this country should be involved and um, less about Miley Cyrus. Sorry Miley, I mean I'm sure you're watching. But... I think a chorus line is a rather disturbing story for a 10-year-old. I know it was, but that was so great about it. It was disturbing, it was entertaining, it was sexy, it was stuff I didn't understand, but I knew that I loved it. Do you understand it now? Not really. Okay. <laughs>